Hey, this is Daryl Webster here, Office 365 MVP. Congratulations, Microsoft, for the launch of Windows 10. Uh, I've just seen a, a video via the Office Mechanics that we can now start to add our Windows 10 computers to Azure AD as a, a domain joined computer. So this was announced at Ignite and now it's a reality that uh, Windows 10 has been launched. So I'm going to just go through this as a quite a raw experience and see what this is like. Uh, so it is it's quite straightforward apparently. It's um, going to your settings and we'll go into accounts and look at work access. So there is a area here where we can join or leave Azure AD. So where we usually have the traditional option to join or leave a domain, we can now join Azure AD as our domain. So this is great, it means that my domain controller, so to speak, can be in the cloud completely. So let's go through this experience. I'll see how it goes with my recording because I might have to stop and start the, or rather continue the recording uh, from the uh, new profile that it sets up on this computer. So we'll see how this goes. Join or leave Azure AD. So it takes us through to the about section of our computer where I can usually rename it and we'll try join Azure AD. So bear with me, uh, I'll try to uh, see how I go with this. Enter your work or school account. So this obviously is pointing towards Office 365 and we're going to enroll this device. So we'll see how this goes. I went through a similar experience with Windows 10 Mobile in that I had to do this before I could access things like uh, OneNote notebooks within Office 365. So we'll see how we go. dot de dot 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 all right yes make sure this is your organization so this is quite key to take your time to read the messages that appear um, don't ignore them as if they're some kind of spam you know be responsible here as you as you log in and, and confirm these things so it is going to apply system policies to my pc i am connecting to webster.net.nz and i'm going to be an administrator and i will join so we'll see how this goes. Hold on as we enroll your device. Bang, it's done. Alright, so now that it's enrolled, does this mean that I can log off this machine, log in now as Daryl um, with my accounts in Office 365 slash Azure AD. So I think I'll pause the recording here and see if I can pick this up and continue, or at least tell you the comments. <laughs> might even try to record it from my phone and see how that goes. See you soon. Right, so we're ready to log in as an Office 365 user. Sorry for the, the reflection there. It's just the default dark background of the Windows 10 machine. Um, and I did start to record this initially and was typing in my password and realized, oh, you can see the reflection of my password as I'm typing. So we'll just work from the lap at this stage. Sorry about the... Um speed of my typing with one hand while holding the machine. But I'm sure I can speed this up and make this worth the wait. So I just want to see how this operates All right, so signing in with either my work or school account it is domain join to Azure AD and I expect to see the regular welcome setup as, as we go through so as it sets up that new profile yep we're seeing that uh, apart from the reflection of myself again I'm sorry about that but we're all used to seeing this kind of setup and we know what this looks like as we log into a machine, it sets up the apps, etc, etc. So one further thing I'm going to do, because I do like to use the um, uh, the uh, power of being able to have my Microsoft account all associated with my, my login, is um, I'm going to do that once this profile is set up. So... We'll pause this here. Oh, create a work pin. Okay, what's this experience? So this is part of the um, security policy that's been applied. That there's a, um, a requirement to have that pin. So I've, that's part of my MDM policy. So you need to have a work pin to unlock the device. Um, so that's quite fine. 
not only do we have to have a password but a pin as well and we'll protect the account so that's fine um, yes I did click it a second time we'll see how this goes And this is the thing, sometimes um, a little unnerving, you click on something and you expect something to be happening, so you click it a second time. Verify your identity. To set up your PC, your admin requires that you verify your identity with a phone. Pick a verification method. So we'll choose the text message. Um, what used to be my account or my phone number. Pick my country. Yep, good that it jumps on down to that. New Zealand, plus six four. Phone number. Ah, oh, all right. Change. Right. Num lock, that would always help. Yes, I'm going to enforce these policies. I'm happy for those policies to come down. So wallets. Still waiting for me to swipe into the keyboard, it's already applying those policies. So I expect that text message will come up here on my phone that I'm recording with shortly. Okay, so the, the text did come through just quietly on my phone, it didn't give me any big alerts. Alright, so we'll set up the additional security verification. Let's see what that is. Set up your PC. Your admin requires you verify your identity with a phone. Hmm, I feel like I've just done this. Uh, let's try a phone call. Oh, no, no, no. Mobile app. So I am using the, the Authenticator app. And let's first install Authenticator do not have the app yet, search for Azure Authenticator uh, maybe I'll choose the other option I've got the Microsoft Authenticator app um, do I pause now and install the Azure Authenticator app? why not? let's do that, I'll pause, I'll put it on my phone and we'll see how that goes ok so I've now got the app set up, I'm going to go through and use the verification for code Let's try the verification code that I got. Just quickly change back to that on my app. Single use code. So now we are, okay, just in case you lose your app, <laughs> I've already kind of done this dance, but at least I've put the code in, so we'll, um, set up the phone again okay so there's two forms of ID either text via phone or use the authenticator app for Azure we sent you another text message so let's see if that pops up on my phone oh, is there a second one coming yep I know that this is really painful to see as I type so slowly but at least we're capturing the whole experience so two forms of ID and lots of verifications later and we're now joining in okay now we've got to set up our, our work pin the uh, final policy there so um, I am going to pause of course because I don't want you to see my pin but you'll understand um, that we'll progress through this later. All right, pin, two forms of ID, lots of verifying that I've um, indeed using the ID. So I'm using text messaging and also the Authenticator app for Azure. And I'm logged in now um, using my Azure AD account. So I'll pause from here and we'll switch over to using uh, Camtasia for recording. So there you have it, I am now domain joined to Azure AD and just a couple of things that I would do is I do like the convenience of having my Microsoft account associated with a domain account 
is I'll go into the account settings and I'll add the Microsoft account as well. So that's probably going to take me through a similar kind of dance where I add the account. I've got to um, verify that I am allowed to do that with an Azure, with a uh, authentic kind of um, code and all those sorts of things. I won't make you watch me do that, but just showing you that here we are. We're logged in with an Azure AD account, and now I can authenticate against Azure AD as my domain controller. So great step there for Windows 10 machines, and I uh, hope that you get uh, a lot out of that. I think I think I see this as being quite useful for small to medium businesses who are trying to. Uh, reduce the number of servers again that maybe now they don't need to have a DC necessarily on premises um, in some cases that they would just go with Azure AD uh, we can certainly set up printers to be able to print to with with um, uh, without needing a DC so we're getting to see that more and more we can run our equipment out of the cloud even to the point where we're authenticating against the cloud using our devices as well so thanks for watching, I hope this has been helpful.